What is going on guys? This is 42 Sports here and today I'm going to be talking about one of the best rivalries in college football and the most highly anticipated football game in the sport of college football. Yes, you heard it here first folks, the game. As you guys know, between Michigan Wolverines and the Ohio State Buckeyes at Ohio Stadium, Time is 12 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, November 24th, 2018. Coverage will be on Fox, which is Channel 50 if you have DirecTV or Dish Network, I believe so, or whatever local cable company you have. All right, so Michigan has been on a tear on a so-called, what like they say, revenge tour, and Ohio State has been struggling. Yes, they've, they've been winning, but ever since they lost to Purdue, Things have just gone down south, and Nick Bosa is gone because of injury, and he won't come back, and he's going to the NFL. And Dwayne Haskins is basically just bailing out the Ohio State Buckeyes as much as he can. I mean, this dude already has over 3,000 yards and 32 touchdowns, which is insane because he's bailing out the team. Um, but they they almost lost to Nebraska, and Michigan just destroyed Penn State, and it's crazy. All right, so I'm going to post this video now so I can let you guys, the fans of both schools from Ohio State and Michigan, to both trash talk each other and let you guys express your opinions on what the game will be like and how or who will win this game. All right, so like what I like to do also is I like to give the matchup predictor, the season leaders, and then from my point of view, also my opinions on what's going to happen with the game and the season stats as well so far through nine games, which is crazy because we're almost done with college football and college basketball is literally next week, which is crazy. All right, so the match predictor has Michigan 55.4% over Ohio State, which is crazy because playing in Ohio, there's some lot of shady things that go on with the Buckeyes and Urban Meyer, and they usually screw over Michigan. That's just my opinion because... I'm not. I, let's just make this clear. I'm not a fan of Michigan or Ohio State. I'm neutral, but I like to give opinions on both sides as well. All right. So Ohio State has a 44.6% over uh, Michigan, even though it's at home. And now let's go through the season leaders from passing, rushing to receiving. All right. So Shea Patterson from not from nine games already with 134 to 200 completions to attempts. 1,667 passing yards, 14 touchdowns, and three interceptions. All right, so for Dwayne Haskins, we have 242 to 347 completions to attempts with 3,000 already through nine games, 3,050 passing yards with 32 touchdowns and six interceptions. He has been the reason why Ohio State is winning, and he has done an excellent job and with Urban Meyer, even though there's been times that they've been struggling. And, of course, the Purdue game really caught them off guard. And Purdue's just been a flip-flop after that. <laughs> All right, so Karan Higgins uh, has done really well. He's almost about to hit 1,000 rushing yards as a Michigan Wolverine or Higdon. He has over 137, or 173, my bad, uh, carries with 963 rushing yards and six uh, touchdowns. While J.K. Dobbins for Ohio State has 143 carries, 684 rushing yards, and seven touchdowns as well. All right. So for receiving wise for Ohio State, we have K.J. Hill with 51 receptions, 695 receiving yards, and four touchdowns. For uh, Michigan, we have Nico Collins, uh, 23 receptions, 373 receiving yards, and two touchdowns all right so lastly we have the team stats uh points per game we have michigan 36.7 to ohio state 42.2 uh not uh, not really that big of a margin between the two uh points allowed per game this is huge for michigan 13.6 while ohio state which is 23.8 all right total yards on offense we have 418.4 total yards for michigan ohio state 547.2 yards of passing, uh, which is 206 points, uh, 200.6, my bad. For Michigan, 
point one for rushing. This is huge for Michigan. Not so much for Ohio State because they're more of a passing type of team. Yards of rushing is 217.9 to Ohio State's 178.1. Yards allowed. This is what is going to be the key of the game is Michigan's defense and Ohio State's offense. All right. Yards allowed. Michigan, 216.2 to Ohio State's oof, grueling 397.3. Passing yards allowed, which is this is really huge for Michigan as well. 122.3 to Ohio State's 243.9. Rushing yards allowed, 93.9, which is really incredible for Michigan. And Ohio State's still not bad as well, 153.4. And this is going to be a key game for both teams because if Michigan can beat Ohio State and go to, to the Big Ten National Champion, Big Ten Championship and win, That'll be huge, and basically the same thing for Ohio State. This is a desperation game for both teams because they can either both go to the national championship for the or playoffs. My bad. Um, so I feel like Ohio State might win this game because it's at home, and usually they have a lot of shady things that go on with the team or uh, Mich playing Michigan, and Michigan usually doesn't really get all the calls, and plus it's a little bit of home cooking. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's like for uh, every home team opposing for versus a good ranked opponent. Michigan has to play really well in offense. Their defense has to be on the spot to beat Dwayne Haskins and of course KJ uh, Dobbins or JK Dobbins, my bad. Uh, and it's going to be a really good game, but I feel like it's going to be another one of those games that it's going to be intense, low scoring. Maybe whoever has the ball last will most likely win the game. Uh, it's going to be probably in around upper 20s, lower 30s. And I know I just sound like I'm, I'm a weatherman, but, but that's going to be my prediction for both teams. I'm going to let you guys decide who is going to win this game. If you're a Michigan fan, express your opinion. If you are an Ohio State fan, express your opinion as well. And let the trash talk begin. I'll always love uh, li watching or just listening to you guys on the comment section and I'll give your opinion. And it, It's fun to talk sports because it's, it's awesome to hear you guys express your opinion for your team. All right, so... 42 Sports here. You guys have a great week, and this video is a little early because I like to uh, hear your opinion before the, the game even starts, which is about three weeks from now. So, guys, again, 42 Sports here. Like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm so close to 1,000. It's going to be awesome. Just thanks again, guys. Y'all have a great day, and peace.